Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking the time in your day to watch this quick video I made for you. In this marketing analysis, I'm going to show you exactly how much business your website's bringing you versus your top competitor and show you how to dominate local searches when someone's looking for roofing uh, services um, in Cleveland and in your current city. All right, so I just want to jump right into the video. So you're on my agency site right now, amplocal.com. Uh, we're an internet marketing agency. Um, so I just want to jump right into the video. So Doggerty construction inc it's funny because my last name is doherty and always people always say doggity but <laughs> anyway so um you know 90 percent of people when they need a service in their area they're going to use google all right 96 percent are going to click from the very first page of google so um in your city all right uh you Euclid, uh roofing contractor gets searched um or someone's looking for your services around 500 to 700 times per month all right so we're able to target all the keywords to rank your business in um so for right now your this is how much business your website's getting it's getting about four hits per month all right or around there four to five it saw 10 earlier this week this month um so for your city you're actually ranked um you know pretty well you know i see you at number one in the, in the maps here you know number three in the organics okay for many keywords for roofing companies roofing contractors okay um however for you know the major city that you are, are next to, obviously, which is Cleveland, um, I couldn't find you, you know, at, at all in, in that search. So Cleveland Roofing, you know, I searched uh, quite through and through and didn't see you. So one of your top competitors, um, you know, Cleveland, Ohio Roofing, he's right here. Uh, so this is how much business he's getting. So around 50 hits per month. Um, so that's literally, you know, more than 10 times the amount of business that your website is seeing right now. Okay. Um, so, I mean, obviously, let me show you why, you know, the obvious reasons is because of the population, you're in around a 50,000 population and Cleveland's around the 400,000 population. All right. So more people, more leads, more business, right? Um, so that's why it's going to be important to get you ranked in, uh, the either surrounding cities or in, where most of the money's coming from in the major city, right? So, um, that's the closest city, uh, near you. So, that's where you are right now. That's how much business you're bringing in. Um, so there's a few ways we can approach this. Uh, we can optimize. We can do cert. What we're going over is search engine optimization. You know, optimizing your website for these searches. And also, we do lead generation campaigns where we launch lead generation websites and rank them in any city and pull all the leads back to your business. Um, this is a very effective, quick way to to generate a bunch of leads right away and literally 10x your company. Um, so that's that's what I'm going to be going over. So. Also, uh, this is you right here. So running Google AdWords right now, this is saying that you have no paid advertisement. So on a Google search, um, when you search for, you know, uh, roofing, you'll see, um, you know, ads running on this search. I don't see any ads. So that means no one's really running ads right now. But for Cleveland, you'll see ads right at the top that control 20% of the click. The maps control 30% and the rest controls around 40 to even 50%. So looking at this chart, if you're ranked number one, that's about 35% of all the business, all the way down to number 10, which is the last spot on page one, which is about 3%. As you can see, if you're not on page one, you might as well be on page 20, okay? So that's kind of like a quick overview of where you're at right now versus your competitor, the potential market that you can reach. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you about Google's algorithm. It has 200 determining factors, all right? Um, but I'm only talking to you about four of the most important ones. So the first thing is your actual website, all right? Mobile friendliness. 80% of people are going to be using an iPhone or Android, so your phone has to convert nicely on mobile device. So for your site, um, it's not mobile friendly according to Google, okay? So a, a Google and mobile friendly redesign of your website is going to be necessary if you're going to rank in other cities and target other keywords, okay? Next, I'm going to talk to you about... Um, uh, authoritative content. So on your home page, well, Google wants to know, are you mentioning, are you educating the consumer? Um, you want to have a thousand, two thousand words on the home page mentioning all of your services in the cities that you serve. Okay. So right now you don't have much going on. You have about 200 words here. So you want to have 1000 to 2000 words minimum and all the keywords we're going to rank you for, you want to mention all of them. So we have the ability to rank all these keywords that people are actually searching in your current city and in Cleveland and in potential surrounding cities as well. Um, so let me just remove this and show you uh, Cleveland real quick. 
All right. So it's going to change. So in Cleveland, look how much business there, it's coming out of there. Around 4,000 times a month, 3,000 or 4,000 times a month someone's looking for your services. So as you can see, the potential market, you know, with the population, it literally 10x the business that, that you're getting right now and even more um, with SEO and the lead generation uh, services that we're talking about here. Um, so authoritative content, let me go back to that. So, you know, building out the keyword research and the content on the home page. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I went to Google, typed an elephant. Wikipedia is notorious for these searches because of their authoritative content. So look at this page, you know, endless information about elephants, their habitat, where they live, where they sleep, everything. Okay. So this is what I mean, big, large chunks of detailed information, which are keywords. So Probably about this much information is what we're looking at, you know, somewhere around here, you know, about 1,000, 2,000 words um, with all the keywords and for all the different cities that you serve. Okay, and this process, the same process that we're following is going to be for your current site and for a lead generation website if you so choose to do one. Um, next thing is local listings. So to be number one in the local maps, um, you have to be have great local listings so you are ranked locally for some keywords you know in the maps all right very well okay so but for Cleveland and other surrounding cities um, you, you do have some errors with your site so let me show you, you have a 37 percent error rate right now um, so it looks like there's discrepancies like in the uh, the Google listing Yahoo it just turns out in your current city the competition is very low so that's why you're able to dominate, but still you're only getting about four hits per month to that site. So that means there's not that many leads coming out of that city. That's why we want to we want to expand um, and look at other cities where there's more leads. So there's the, you're missing listings here. There's discrepancies in the phone numbers, missing listings, discrepancy in address. So we definitely want to get all this fixed um, and get all these filled out. This is the top 50 in the country, um, but we'll get you thou less than thousands, hundreds more over time. There's thousands of them. Um, next. Uh, you know backlinking so if you're gonna be ranked number one organically which you are in your current city if we push to other cities in um, Cleveland this is gonna pay uh, play a huge role so right now with the Google is like a popularity contest um, it's like running for president the more votes you have the more chance you're gonna win so these are your votes right now there's nine websites referring to you and the quality of them is 29 that's the trust flow so Google wants to know how many people are talking about you online are they popular or not all right, so out of 29, it, it, that's actually very good. So that's actually kind of off the charts, right? But you only have nine. All right, so being able to find you at the top of the local search where you're located is, is um, you know, it's not a surprise. But for Cleveland and some of the other surrounding cities, you're not located there. So these backlinks are going to play a huge key role, you know, in ranking you in other cities. So um, I just want to show you some of our clients. So for San Diego, huge 3.5 million population for San Diego auto dealer search. Um, we have San Diego auto, auto connection. They started out on page three, ranked number three organically and number one in the maps. So we've maintained to point many links to their site and maintain a very high trust flow. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, 74 links at a trust flow of 23. This is very high quality right that's where you want to be anything above 20 is going to be good to go um, but of course this site we built out the keyword research the the content necessary to rank and we've continued to point links and built out you know accurate citations so all these things play a huge key role um, to be in in the map to number one organically for such a huge city uh, next party bus limo company in downtown San Diego we there we're doing their SEO and then we built out this lead generation website so this is a custom website that we built out in another city that's pulling leads back to them so this is ranked number one organically um, and uh, ranked number one organically and ranked uh, number one in the maps just dominating the maps right so let me show you the power of this website that we built So as you can see, again, we pointed 19 links, trust flow 21, all right? All, anything above 21, high quality. So your site was, you know, it had, what, eight links or eight or nine links, right? Um, and it had a trust flow of 27, which is great, you know, and you're at the top of your local search. But for the big money searches like Cleveland, um, you know, you weren't visible in those searches at all. So that's the type, that's where we're going to want to target you. 
um, in the in the search engine optimization, getting at the top of these links, these searches, uh, where more business is coming from. Because again, you're getting four hits per month, and your top competitor is getting around 50. Okay, so big some big uh, thing to consider there. Um, you know, so I just wanted to see. Yeah, so I wanted to see where most of your business was coming from. So I went to Alexa. It looks like almost half your business comes from garage construction and then people that know your the name of your business and siding. So some other off key some off keywords um, that you're ranking for that where your business is pulling from for, but for the primary ones like roofing uh, uh, roofing construction and all that good stuff um, in your area that you're at the top but you're only getting four hits per month. Um, so definitely want to look at lead generation looking to expand you want to you know, if you're looking to expand and get more leads, that's going to be a great option for you. Also running Google AdWord campaigns, um, paid advertisements. So that concludes my analysis. I appreciate the time you took to watch this. Um, you have my information. Please reach out. Me and my team would love to partner with you and bring you more roofing leads to your business and help you grow your company online. Again, thank you for your time and you have a great day.